Yes, um, by the names of uh, Dr. Kelo Edwin, uh, a medical officer, uh, currently working at Masaka Hospital, and I'm also a specialist in sexual reproductive health, uh, reproductive medicine, uh, which I pursued from uh, University of South Wales from 2020 to 2011. Yes, uh, I got to know about Mark Foundation in 2020. Uh, from a friend, colleague of mine, whom we finished with uh, the university, he was ahead of me. Uh, he posted to me a program which Mark Foundation was offering a uh, scholarship for at the uh, different universities in the uh, UK. So that is when I took the opportunity to research more about Mark Foundation and see what they offer in different capacities. So when I took the opportunity to take a uh, sexual and productive medicine, uh, I had to get recommendations from different levels from the Ministry of Health. But my first recommendation I started from where I work, that is Masaka Regional Referral. I got one of the first recommendations from the director of the hospital, that is uh, Dr. Nyachi, who pushed me to the ministry with that letter. Then I pushed that letter to the ministry. Then from there I liaised with Dr. Amone, who helped me uh, push for the recommendation. Actually, he was the one who recommended me. And then later on, uh, there are different recommendations I had to put in the application when I was applying for the course. Uh, Dr. Senyondo was there, and then Dr. Chibengo, the internal medical specialist who currently works at uh, MRC. I don't regret uh, taking up this course because it has helped me in different capacities. Uh, one, it has helped me with my computer skills. I'm able to design now different logos, uh, different uh, designs maybe for the hospital. Uh, uh, currently, I was able to just put up a draft for the layout on how COVID patients should flow in the hospital, which it was due to the computer uh, techniques I got from that, from the course. Another thing is uh, I'm now able to treat a lot of uh, fertility disorders. One of it is erectile dysfunction, which men have been coming with, especially people who have diabetes, for upper hypertension, then other kinds of uh, erectile dysfunction. Also, I'm now able to refer patients from this point to different settings which can easily treat fertility disorders. This has been due to the, the course I've attained from the Mark Foundation, that is the sexual reproductive uh, medicine I, I took from 2020 to 2021. Right now, uh, I've not been able to open up my own facility, but uh, what I'm doing right now, this being a government setting, I'm offering free services to the people who come and really they need this room. So I always took it, take it as a mandate and then I go to the uh, hypertensive and then diabetic clinic. I am able to identify these people who have these uh, reproductive uh, fertility disorders or people who come up with these uh, sexual dysfunctions. Then I'm able to uh, treat them accordingly or refer them accordingly. Uh, the other thing is uh, I'm not able to go online, uh, especially on radio stations uh, in my own district, and then give talks about uh, fertility disorders. Because as you know, not only uh, women suffer from these fertility disorders. In Africa, you know that uh, women are always blamed for causing these fertility disorders. Yet men are also what? being affected. So I'm able now to go on here and then try and then sensitize everyone, the population, about the sexual productive work, uh, their sexual productive health. So uh, they come forward and then we treat them accordingly. I really thank uh, Mark Foundation for pushing up, uh, training me, and then also giving me the, all these uh, uh, skills I've got right now. Personally, I want to thank uh, Dr. Pelechi for offering me this chance and all other people in Mark Foundation. Thank you so much.